fighting off evil monsters can be a little tricky sometimes. Go, Tommy! But when you're a part of a team and everybody's doing their job, it's as easy as one, two, three. Oh, oh. oh yeah, you saved the world! You saved the world! Of course, beating up on bad guys does take a bit out of you sometimes. Sir? Ma'am! Sir! Good morning, class. My name is Geiger, Jim Geiger. <laughs> I'm your new guidance counselor, here to help set you on the straight and narrow. Go back to Holland, Mr. Opus. <laughs> no need for the smart talk, son. Not the time or place. Now, I realize that it's Friday, but let's try to look alive. Starting Monday, I would like each of you to make an appointment with me to discuss your future and how to make it brighter. That name again. Geiger. Now, who'd like to see me first? I have Monday all available. I guess I'll start with you then, son. Ow. <laughs> I used to own this town Now it's all turned upside down I wish I could figure out Do you think it's just a phase I'm going through Just a phase I'm going You know, a lot of people give Mondays a bad rap, but after a weekend, I kind of like catching up with my friends again. <laughs> What's up, John claude Van Dane? Hey. How'd the cat fighting go this weekend? It was the state regional kickboxing championship, Tommy. Not Melrose Place. Sorry. <laughs> you win any ribbons? Medals, Tommy. And yeah, I won two golds. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. There's even a little girl on it going, hi -ya! Yeah. What? Lori, what? Wait a s- On second thought, maybe I do hate Mondays. And in sad news for the Gothic Fantasy Guild, Duncan Levine totaled his minivan. So our outing to the Cure concert at SeaWorld has been canceled. Your president, Merton J. Dingle. No, 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 don't do this to me! Ah! Oh! Stupid virus lady piece of- Hey, hey, spare us the gutter mouth, Dingle. Nobody wants to hear it. Hey, if it's senseless violence you're hankering for, you may want to try this pesky little virus dispenser right here. Step aside, Dingle. We have learning to do. You know, just because we don't have all the smarts in the world, that doesn't mean we can't put in the extra effort. Since when do you care about school? Since they had their appointment with me, Merton. Just like you'll be doing in exactly 1,738 minutes and 11 seconds from now. Holy rain, man. How'd you do that? <laughs> oh, it's all up here, son. I set these two fine youngsters on the straight and narrow, and I'm looking forward to getting my mark on you, too. Good work. So I unadversedly made fun of Lori's kickboxing weekend. But I apologized for it, and guess what? She forgave me. At least I thought she oh, did. Tommy, sorry. Oh, I yeah. thought we were still training. I'm okay. <sighs> Although an injury like this could go either way without serious attention. Aw. Mm. <laughs> okay, now pick up that pad. Let's try roundhouse. Oh, we've been practicing for an hour. Let's go. The tournament's over. Yeah, but you know I want to be ready for kicking monster butt. So. Well, don't worry about that. I handle the major fighting stuff. Guys, potential weirdness on the radar screen. Not a code red exactly, but clearly something in the magenta family. You handle the major fighting stuff? Well, yeah. I'm sure you help out here and there, but let's face it, I'm kind of like Superman. You're more like Wonder Woman. Yeah, meanwhile, back at the Hall of Justice, we've got a Geiger problem. Have either of you had your appointments yet? You know what, Tommy? The only reason you can fight at all is because of your wolf powers. If you didn't have them, you'd be wimpier than Merton at go time. Hey, I resent that. You resent that? Just because I can wolf out doesn't mean I couldn't handle my own. Oh, yeah, right. 
you want a piece of me? No, you know what? I think I've actually had enough of you. Yeah, well, right back at ya. Huh. Direct hit, Tommy. I think you sank her battleship. It's now about Geiger. I'm currently toying with an alien theory, although I can't believe her. right with ya. I've been reviewing your file, and quite frankly, I like what I see. Solid grades, good attendance record. I don't know quite what to make of the hair, wardrobe, and taste of movie rentals, but we will get you on the straight and narrow. Movie rentals? How do you know about that? <laughs> it's all up here, son. <laughs> now, you just look at this screen over here. I have some slides I'd like to show you. Isn't technology great? Yes. Just tell me what you see. It looks like a bat. Ooh, very good. Bat. 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 A lonely boy who failed to please his demanding father at every turn. Oh, sorry. That one's upside down. Bat. Very good. Welcome to Merton's Shadow Puppet Theater. The bunny hops along the meadow in search of carrots. The dog says, over here. Arr, arr, arr. The bunny gets close, but there's an earthquake. Whoops. I'll, I'll get, get that. that. <laughs> Relax, young fella. I'm sensing discomfort. Vital signs are going haywire. Abdominal convulsions, desired empty contents of bladder into one's trousers. Actually, you're right. <laughs> so if you'll excuse me, this little razor needs to make a pit stop. Back in a flash. Hey, okay. Whoa! Hey, hey, hey! Slow down there, friend. There's no running in the hallway. Huh? <laughs> Goodness gracious. That boy's a menace. A <laughs> little rascal. Tommy! Bad news. That stuff I told you before about Geiger, I was right. He's an alien? OK, I was almost right. He's a cyborg, and he's turned half our school into robotic drones. What are you talking about? What are you? The cybernetic mind control, Tommy. Geiger's jacked into our cerebral cortexes with some kind of microchip implant. Well, how do we know who he's jacked into? Hi, Merton. Is he treating you well? Does that answer your question? Come on, Becky. Did you see Geiger, too? Yes. And I'm proud to say I'm on the straight and narrow. <laughs> That's my sister. <laughs> oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um. Up all night studying. <laughs> I'll say this for Merton. When he thinks something weird's going on, he's usually right on the money. I guess he's got a fifth sense about those things. Maybe it's some kind of microchip. Hold up, I'll try to wedge it out. <sighs> Sorry, Becky. Hey, check it out. Cable ready. Hey, that's some serial port connector. I could hook her into my computer. Geiger Network. Some kind of mainframe database. Let's see if I can access something. Welcome to the menu. A 
about Operation Straight and Narrow. Just wait a few seconds for the video to load in your brain. James Geiger, August 4th, 1994, Milwaukee Community College, Department of Robotics. <laughs> Big day here! You are looking at me through the eye of my latest creation. Operation Straight and Narrow version 1.0. A nearly perfect cybernetic organism. The first ever designed to get our youth back on track. I just have one final touch up and then he is all ready to go. <laughs> no, no, robot, no. Robot, no! Ro would you stop, robot? I'll have to debug you. What, what are you doing? Tommy, oh, the robot is destroying oh, its creator. No, oh, it's just, ow! Oh, 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 no! No, security! Security, no! No, robot, no! Geiger is a well-intentioned experiment gone horribly awry. Like the Mars Explorer, or Felicity cutting her hair. What are we gonna do? We need to shut him down before he implants those microchips into everyone. But who's his next appointment with? Gee, Tommy, let me go consult my crystal ball and find out. Come on, where am I supposed to get that information? Well, you can try the file marked Day Planner. Sarcasm withdrawn. Thank you. Day Planner. Merton, look, look, Lori Baxter, 4.30 p.m. What time is it? That's oh. in an hour. Let's go pull the plug in that android. <laughs> What? She'd run off the electrical bill. Here, Borgie, Borgie, Borgie. You sure that thing can take him down? Tommy, 400 volts of electrical goodness can take down any robot. Fortunately, this is a 12 volt car battery. So I think we're looking at a 50 50 situation here. <laughs> Oh, Lori, wait a second. I've got an appointment right now, Tommy, and frankly, I don't really feel like talking to you. Fine. Merton, will you tell Lori here not to go see Mr. Geiger so she doesn't get implanted with a microchip that'll turn into a straight and narrow cyborg Geiger clone? Is there any portion of that you'd like me to revisit? No, but you can tell Tommy, or should I say Superman, that if he doesn't change his attitude, he'll be spending some time in the Fortress of Solitude. My attitude? You're the one that said I was a wimp without my... without my wolf powers. What's up with that? Can we please not lose sight of the cyborg crisis? It's called fighting back, Tommy. I do it sometimes when we're trying to take out bad guys, not that you'd notice. Listen, I don't want to fight anymore. Please. Can we just clear the air? No, no, keep the air dirty. Clear it post-battle. Come on. I'm sorry for what I said. I think you're an awesome fighter. And I think you bring a ton of the team. Really? Yes. Because I didn't mean what I said either. Mm. You're pretty tough yourself. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You want a piece of me? Maybe. Well, bring it on. People, cyborg time. C-3PO's evil brother is on the... We got a zap with the... And you don't even... Fine. I'll go juice him myself. I said I'd be back, Geiger. Here I am. You're right behind me, aren't you? Works every time. Well, well, looks like it's just you and me. Domo origato, Mr. Roboto. You were saying? <laughs> so, you're a cybernetic experiment who turned on his creator. What's that like? You down, but you're a slippery little fella, aren't you? All the more reason to put you on the straight and narrow. Stop me if I'm prying, but will I get a robot girlfriend under your control? Well, actually, you know, with a proper haircut and a clean shirt, there's no reason any young fella can't have himself a looker. <laughs> actually, I'm not all that fussy. There's a plump redhead in my bio class with a nasty overbite, but a heart of gold. Sit still. <sighs> so I guess this means we're cool? Yeah, I guess. Oh, I'm late for my appointment with Mr. Geiger. I gotta get going. No, wait, wait. You can't see Mr. Geiger. He's an evil cyborg. An evil cyborg? Yes. And now that the team's all here, I guess we can send him to the junkyard. Right, Martin? Martin? Hey. Let's go. Oh. Uh, sit still. 
Oh, oh, whoa, 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 for Pete's sake, young fella. Would you remain stationary? Calling subjects 9 and 17. 9 and 17. All right, boys, hold them down while I make them part of our squad. I'm already part of a squad, Geiger. And if my backups ever come down from Makeout Mountain, they'll rip you a new modem port. <laughs> no, that's not likely, son. No, I was created to restore order to the unruly youth, and heck and by golly, that's what I'm gonna do. Look lively, gang. It seems we have intruders. Holy moly, Travis, it's the Wolfman. Let's seize him. <laughs> Okay, some disciplined Geiger style. Oh, oh, Geiger, you can't fight. You were created to teach, not hurt. I've made some modifications. Abs of steel. Martin, what happened? Where's the car battery? Well, I'd rather not relive it. What's the backup plan? Come on, use your head. Tommy, that's it. Tear Geiger's head off. Literally! Okay, keep that head away from that body. I'll be back. You know this is going on your personal record. I always thought I'd get ahead. Come on! Hey, there's no pets allowed in the school. How about a game of fetch? Yeah. I hate head games. Whatever for eyes. <laughs> Takes a licking and keeps on ticking. <laughs> oh. ah. oh. Stay. <laughs> Put it down. Oh. Oh. The hair. Watch the hair. Oh. Note to self. Cut our nail. I've got a virus. I've got a virus. The dicks. Oh. Throw me the head. Where's that gonna go? It's all up here. Oh, Martin! Hey, 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 hey! Hey, good break. It's a nice thing. As the third wheel of this little crime-fighting unit, I'd like to propose a no-making-out-in-the-face-of-danger policy. All those in favor say aye. 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 So, we've just taken down an evil cyborg. Anybody care to join me in a little robot session? Huh? <laughs> uh, no, thanks. <laughs> With another one, two, three knockout combo delivered, Operation Straight and Narrow was a thing of the past. <laughs> And the robot head? Well, there was only one proper spot for that hunk of metal. As for the one-two punch of me and Lori, Merton had a point. He almost got geigered because of all the stuff between us, and that can't happen again. It was pretty obvious our relationship and our business couldn't mix. Something had to give. I just hoped she'd understand when I told her we couldn't fight evil together anymore. Can we talk for a minute? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Listen, I don't think we can do this anymore. We are way too good together, and I don't think we should let anything get in the way of that. Yes, me neither. That is exactly what I was going to say. You were? Yes. 
So I guess we can't really... Go out anymore. Oh, uh, what? Yeah, yes, uh, that seems to be what we need to do. Okay, <laughs> well, I guess I'm gonna go work on my kicks. See you later? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll see you around. Bye.